Well, hello, people. I'm here for another music review. And uh, this week we're doing uh, A Beautiful Place to Drown by Silverstein. Uh, I was uh, mostly trying to figure out which next album that... Uh, I don't know. I can't even talk right now. Album. Uh, man, fucking damn it. Uh, which new record that I was going to talk about. Jeez. But uh, what's it called? Uh, and uh, I started listening to this album on uh on spotify so i was just uh i was thinking about it uh and i was just like oh i started to dig a lot of the songs that they were doing like i think it was infinite and then madness and burn it down were the two three main ones and i haven't really listened to uh, Silverstein in a long time it seems like because i remember listening to them when their first album came out with i think I think it was called My Heroine on it. But, uh, what's it called? So, I was, uh, leery about it because I have enjoyed their music a lot. But then I realized that there was some album, uh, man, some music that they were putting out that uh, I've listened to, like, uh, every once in a while there was some stuff that I noticed that they were putting out that, I was digging on and it's mostly because it seems like they changed how their sound is a little bit like compared to like how their first record is it seems like totally different now it seems like uh their their sound is more tailor-made to like bands like issues and stuff like that i mean probably changing their sound to fit with the times and stuff like that probably makes more sense but like also fitting to because there's some songs on here i think it was the last couple of songs i'm trying to think of the names of them i think it was september 14th and coming down and even take what you give with a simple plan in there i think that was the main one that stood out to me was that it kind of reminded me of the old uh kind of pop punk stuff or the sound that they used to do before because i think i remember listening to them a lot when i was listening to the used and uh, a bunch of the other bands like my Chemical Chromats and i'm trying to think of the other ones a bunch of emo music like finch and um damn it's like every time whenever I, i'm like fine up until i start recording and then i'm like fuck i don't remember all these damn bands i i can if I don't get put on the spot, it's like I remember stuff way easier than I do. <sighs> but uh, anyway, I'm like, uh, a lot of these songs I really, really enjoy. I think probably the, um, like, uh, I love the title track, Bad Habits. Uh, I just started listening to that one today because uh, the, uh, I was just re listening throughout the whole album when I was at work and stuff like that. And I was like, oh, yeah, I'm like, I could see. I'm like, I definitely love this album. Uh, <sighs> damn, I still can't fucking say it right. The whole damn time I've been fucking up. The whole time saying it. But uh, this whole L, uh, record that I've been listening to is pretty damn dope. I love their... Uh, their... Uh, man, damn, I can't even think of what they call the the album art. This one, uh, if you can't tell, I already have that up where it's showing some of the <laughs> because I wanted to at least uh, have uh, notes somewhat of like whatever the songs were and stuff like that. But like the album art is actually and dope i actually like it a lot and especially how it doesn't even have i'm sure that if i looked at the cd it would probably be like on the side of this cd or something instead of like having not their name at all on there but uh what's it called yeah most of the songs are just really good man especially like most of the people that they pick i think caleb shomo is the lead singer for uh he used to be the singer of attack attack and then now he's the lead singer of Beartooth, which I really love Beartooth, but I still like Attack Attack more just because I enjoy the the sound more. Like, a lot of people gave them shit for their sound. And I was like, fuck, they should do whatever they fucking feel like. And that's another thing. It's like, 
one thing with Silverstein is that I haven't li uh, listened to him in a long time. So when I was listening to this record, it mostly felt like a different band, really, to me. Like, uh, most, uh, because a lot of the songs are good, like, really good. But it's, uh, and I could put it on repeat a lot. That's one reason why I was thinking about doing this out, uh, this record anyway, was because I was, li uh, like, uh, when I kept putting it on Spotify, like, I would be listening to Dance Gavin Dance's radio station or so Eskimo Callboys or somebody's, and that this album, uh, album, man, damn. I still can't say right. I don't know why it sound it sounded weird to me today, but <laughs> but uh, I kept on putting it on repeat most of the time. I was like, man, what song is this? Like I'm cleaning around the house or whatever, just having it on. I was like, what band is this? Oh, uh, it just sounds good. Okay, I gotta go check it out. And then I was like, man, another song by them that I really enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> like I was really surprised off of this record uh of this this c d or al man damn it i I need to quit saying it I keep on I'm like I'm sorry for anybody watching if you wanna click off because I keep on feeling like I'm saying it wrong, but uh what's it called uh yeah, like, you know, just having it in the background, I was just like, oh, yeah, I really enjoy this, uh, uh, this record. Like, this song, I really enjoy most of the songs. Every song that they kept on pulling up, I was like, oh, this is them too? What the fuck? And then, of course, Caleb Shobo. I don't know who Aaron Gillespie is. And I'm sure that he's, like, another singer from another band that uh, I'm sure if I Googled it, I'd be like, oh, shit, I didn't even realize that. Because I listen to, like, way too many bands. So, like, I, I wouldn't be surprised if uh, if I know who it is. It's, like, Kevin Simple playing in it and then Princess Nokia for the Madness song. Which I, I don't think I've ever heard of that girl's uh, singing, too. But I really enjoy her uh, parts in the song, too. But, uh... Yeah, most of all the songs that are on this record is just really good. Like, I could just jam out to them. Like, that's the that's the main thing about this band, uh, this group anyway, was this is the only one that I don't have regular on repeat most times with the other records that I've listened to. Like, if it's Dance, Gavin, Dance or whatever, I've been following them for a long time. Same with Lamb of God and stuff like that. It's like I stopped listening to him for a little bit, but then I started listening to him again. I didn't think that I was ever going to be like a Silverstein fan or like a super fan or whatever. But if I keep listening to stuff like this where they're doing stuff like this album, um, this record, I definitely think that I could be more of a fan of them. Like, and eventually going to see them in concert and buying merch and all sorts of stuff. And definitely one thing I just got to add into it is that I've seen some things where it comes to concerts and stuff like that. You guys should buy merch, at least by the certain people that you like. if you Because they're pretty much at the end of the day, like, I was watching, what was it, I think it was a documentary or something, and they were talking about how pretty much their touring doesn't really get them any money, like, especially if they're on a record label, most of their money comes from the touring, not even so much the, out, uh, the records that they put out, but uh, they'll they mostly get it from the touring, which is not nearly as much. But mostly for their day to day stuff and how they make money between like all their dates that they go to, is they uh, live off their merch money. So like, um, that's why I always try to, like, you know, whenever I go to a show, I always try to buy something from bands that I like. Like, uh, if you haven't noticed. I have, like, signed stuff all up in here. I like, Eventually, I might show you guys in another video, like, just showing, like, all the bands that I've seen. But, uh, like, I have Five Finger Death Punch and Blood on the Dance Floor, all sorts of bands up here. And then, see, I got, like, the whole wall filled. 
So, like, I even have, like, a super special one, a Rob Zombie or a White Zombie signed one. So, the, um, like, that. Uh, so that's mostly what it's from. I sit there and go and buy the merch from certain bands that I like. So, if you no know, one that I enjoy, enjoy this record and they come out nearby like hopefully after this quarantine starts going away if they ever toured again i think they toured over here like ages ago like maybe five or ten years ago or something maybe even sooner than that i just don't like uh sometimes if i don't get the chance to i don't get to go see them but i would definitely go see them now try to I'm like i don't know about vip and stuff because i got a very high thing when it comes to VIP lists and stuff like that. I want to meet them, but it depends on the price. I, I don't want to see somebody when it's like $200 just to see them. Sure, like some people like Zach Wilde and stuff, like they'll do stuff where they sell uh, limited edition like uh, guitars and shit that are in the VIP and stuff like that, but I don't make a whole lot of money compared to all that stuff. But anyway, that's getting off the thing but anyway the main thing is you should at least pay uh buy stuff that you like from these bands to show support for them like there's uh certain ones like the justin symbol one i have like one in the background <laughs> and i just got another one too because he just got um like i bought their latest record which i already talked about in the other one but they signed that one too <coughs> sorry but uh, once again, and you guys definitely should listen to this record, especially if you're into My Chemical Romance and Issues and even Palisades. And uh, I'm trying to think of other bands that are like similar. I mean, they say that Dan like it's on Dance Gavin Dance's radio like station. But uh, I would say definitely the Word Alive, uh, like if you like them too, because like a lot of those are like kind of like electronic. Uh, I don't know. It's hard to describe. It's like, oh yeah, definitely I see stars too because they kind of like you could tell that they have like influences off of each other and stuff like that. Love I see stars though. Like I like the way that they're going. But uh, once again, I was definitely surprised with this record. I didn't think that I was gonna like every song on this damn album. Or man, damn it, album. Jeez, whatever. But maybe I'm just thinking in my head that I'm saying it wrong or something, whatever. But uh, definitely you guys should check out this uh, the uh, record at least. At least the main ones. Like Infinite, Burn It Down, Bad Habits, and Madness are like my favorites. Especially Madness. I think Madness is like my favorite one on the record. But uh, you, you should actually uh, definitely check this band out. I do, but on the effort of this one, I think I'm going to be doing a, lo a less uh, time restraint, to, whatever they call it. I'm going to do a shorter video than usual <laughs> this week because, like, I don't have a whole lot more to say on it. Mostly because it's like, definitely check this band out. I don't know who I'm going to do next week, but uh, I said this the last time. I hope that uh, fucking uh, maybe I'll do some Eskimo Callboy shit. Or I'll do like uh, where I'll do like singles of the week or something. Maybe I'll do that. Like about jam uh, jams that I've been digging on for the past like week or so. That way it's a little bit different. Um, but for all that... Um, Make sure to like or subscribe on the channel if you're enjoying any of the stuff. If you guys want me to check out any other bands, just leave them in the comments and stuff like that. And then uh, if I like them enough, I'll put them in another video. And then all the socials are going to the Heart of Geek, like all the Twitter page, the Instagram page. Like, I think one of the only things that we don't have is a Snapchat, mostly because it's like, no. Like, I don't think that we do enough for the Snapchat to be like, hey, guys, how's it going? But you never know. Um, like, uh, maybe my uh, one of my other brothers or something will start one. But uh, for me, I guess I will talk to you guys in another video. I'll see you guys later. Bye.